Hey friends, uh, I'm again here to show you how to make a dory for the pendant. Means this is not an ordinary dory. This is something special which we can make with the cotton thread. Here you can see this is my terracotta pendant which I have paint and then I made tassels and I hang there and it's looking very pretty. For making pendant, I have videos. You can subscribe my channel. You can go through the video for terracotta pendants. And here you can see pretty earring with the tassels. And for making tassels also, I have a video. So if you don't know, you can watch that video. For the uh, for making dory, uh, what I have need, we I want cotton thread this is not very thick you can see it's very thin and fabric glue a paint brush or you can take any round kind of um, stick or uh, if you have pen thin pen you can use that thing basically this thing we need to take to make a bead to adjust the dory and a scissor that's it these all things we need and Okay, let's get started. I'm taking a back of my brush and I'm sticking one side of my thread and I have to just wrap, wrap, wrap like this. Once we are done with the wrapping, at least for 15 rounds then we can do little zigzag you can see how I'm do going not straight up down up down like that because we need to give a thread bead shape so it can be only straight line so um, you can just check my hand I'm just putting one down and then up down and up like that we need to just continue until it will become like more thick like a bead now you can see it's more like a bead so I'm just putting thread um, I need to close so I cut the thread now I'm just making kind of note so it can be secure enough now we can cut it and uh, make sure you leave little part so that you can stick with fabric glue So don't worry it's looking white but when it will be dry it won't be visible because this is just a white fabric glue so we will just let it dry this portion then we can just remove from our brush so our bead will be ready now you can see I have a cardboard of length of approximate 35 centimeter you can see it's a big cardboard so I'm taking the edge, one edge of my thread here and, and so by mistake I took another length. So now I'm just taking one side and we don't have to leave just uh, like we used to make tassel. This is how we have to make rounds. It's all depends how uh, thick you want your dory so this uh, you can make you can uh, but make sure when you are rolling making this you have to count your rolls because this is only a one portion but you have to make another portion also with the same thickness so don't forget to count the rolls Here I have taken 
30 30 rows and now I'm cutting from one side you can see this would be like something like this so uh, make sure it should be tangle free you can see so nice <laughs> very straight enough and this is how we have to make another also because we need two dories like this for uh, our pendant like one dory will attach here and one another dory will attach here and it will be free like this i am not going to bead it and we'll take a jump ring and we'll put this thing in the jump ring and here we'll connect with this jump ring both side and both uh, dories uh, we uh, you have seen that bead we have made we'll make another thread also and we'll put that bead inside for the two dories and that bead is just to adjust the length of the dory which we want when we are going to wear this for that i'm just showing you now how we have to do whole process keep watching now you can see I have made both the dories ready with same length and same thickness. Now we need to take that bead. Uh, first thing we have to put jump ring here and uh, we have to put our bead here because you can see it's very thick. It, it's very thick and it will be difficult to put but I'll tell you a method how to put there. Here you can see two dories i'm just taking a edge edge portion of my dory here here i'm not putting a bead actually i'm just tying this last portion very tightly first i'm making a tight knot and then i have to make a roll 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 very nicely you can see here I'm just making tight knot so that our thread won't be tangled this is kind of bead but actually not a bead This should be very tight otherwise your thread will be go uh, will go up and down and they, they will make tangles so this is done you can do equal length if you are feeling this is looking not nice <clears throat> you can see here i have made a nod here and now it won't move uh, this is something like this our two sides are ready now we need to take a jump rings two jump rings we first we have to put inside here and another one is here then we'll connect our pendant with this and we can make our dory ready thread cotton thread ready i have two jump rings with me it is just a tip if you don't want to attach your pendant directly with the dory you can even put some beads you can take beads and you can connect dory with the beads but for that you need to take gear wire small gear wire where you can put your beads and then you can connect with the dory so now I'm taking my jump ring this is a bit tricky because jump ring is small and this thing is huge so we need to put slowly slowly make sure you are putting everything inside and I'm lucky because this thing has gone easily inside now we need to take this portion and we need to just close it you can see here 
now it's close and it's totally connect with the jump ring so you don't have to do really very long hard work yeah this little hard work is there which is very necessary without that you can't do anything which is easy this is how we can connect our dory with the pendant and i'm going to connect another dory like this when you are doing this thing with the terracotta jewelry so be very careful because terracotta jewelry used to be a bit delicate so handle it with care so you can see here our beautiful pendant with beautiful dory is ready as i don't want that adjustable bead to adjust my pendant because this pendant will look long hanging will look more nice than with the like choker so i didn't put that bead but if you want to put that bead you can put here by and that thing i'll show you in another, in another video so i hope you liked my video and this dory making which is not very tough keep watching my videos and like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching